All right. Remember <laughs> in the ring two when I said how that sucked and I said how I'm actually looking forward to seeing rewatching rings like because I can remember enjoying it more than the ring two. Yeah, scratch all that. <laughs> the ring two is still terrible. This is so bad. I rewatched it last night, so this is going to be short. I'm just going to skim through and talk about some stupidity. But, oh, this is so bad. I didn't remember it being this bad. I remembered it being not good, like, at all. I haven't seen this since 2017, since when it came out. I kind of feel like they followed some of the story to Ring Goose. I want to say Spiral. Like I said in the Ring 2, I don't remember if I saw Spiral or Zero. I know I've seen Ringu 2, which I looked into, and it follows the same story that the remake does for the ring too, but it does it much better. Like I haven't rewatched it yet, but I know it does because God, anything is better than the ring too, except for this. This is, this is just awful, but they took some beats on spoilers like always, obviously, but with at the end here with Samar being reborn through the main character which is what happens in, I'm pretty sure it's Spiral, man. I'm going to be so mad if it's not. But I'm pretty sure it is. So Zero is the one I never saw. I don't care for the main character in this. She's fine. But, like, going from Naomi Watts in the original remake of The Ring and The Ring 2 to her, she's fine. There's the guy from uh, The Vampire Diaries in here, Matt, at the very beginning, on a plane, because, like, that's where Samara strikes first. Let's just get this over with, because Rings is terrible. So, Matt from the Vampire Diaries is on an airplane. And if you think, good luck, if you don't know <laughs> the Vampire Diaries or who Matt is, because I'm not spending time putting clips or anything into this. This is just straight old school JT, just talking. There's going to be no editing here, because I'm not wasting time on this movie. But he's up in, the, in an airplane on Flight 77, which whatever and he starts talking to this beautiful girl next to him saying that he saw this tape after he met this girl in seattle and she met she sent him a copy and said watch it so he watched it and the images were just disturbing and then a girl called him and said he has seven days to live so just filling people in for some reason like if anyone hasn't seen the ring and they went and saw rings and then he ends up getting killed by samara through the cockpit television she starts coming out of <laughs> it looks stupid this whole movie's stupid and then we have we have a fat vincent d'onofrio playing a blind guy later on who becomes the antagonist like more than samara like this movie's so out there but he's dead matt i don't know his name in here i don't care has any no one has ever came forward and said that they saw a weird incident like this like, there's water pouring out of the bathroom on the airplane. Like, they're hitting turbulence. And then when she's coming out of the TV, the cockpit is empty. So I'm just assuming this plane crashed and they all died. Because if not, somebody's coming forward saying, I, you know, I saw water. Unnatural amounts coming out of the, <laughs> the bathroom on this airplane. And then this guy got dragged into the cockpit and now he's dead. No one says that. So I'm assuming all these people crashed and died. Then there's this professor who's researching into the tape and Samara's whole backstory and everything. And he ends up seeing the tape and then he gets the call seven days. So then he starts putting on, since he's a professor, he starts like picking people for like a study and tells them that it's like, you, it's proof of like a soul after death. And basically cons these kids of his into watching the tape and tells them to make a copy so he can be fine. <laughs> like, all of this is bad. All of this is not good. The writing's terrible in this movie. Like, worse than The Ring 2. At least we had a Hideo Nakata there, like, for the second one. Even if, like I said, the studios had to have messed with The Ring 2 remakes, like, severely. Because I refuse to believe Nakata just let that all fly. Like, that whole film, for how bad that is. But this is just, like, on another level. So main chick, she's dating this guy, Holt. He gives an alright performance. All the acting in here is standard. There's nothing breakout or anything. There's no good acting in this film whatsoever. It's decent at the best. 
she's dating Colt, and he saw the tape. And then she gets a call, a video call, from this other chick who's freaking out and saying that Colt can't hide and that she's coming and her face is distorting, like in the pictures from the first movie. And then she tries conning the girl, the main character, later into watching the tape, and then she gets a pretty decent death scene, probably the best scene in the movie. This is a very weird shot in this movie, and... I mean, I'm guessing they just thought it would be stylistic, it would look cool. It doesn't. Like, it looks stupid. But she goes up to a door that has a security camera on it. And she's reading the paper that the professor wrote on Samara, called like the Samara Enigma or something. So you're seeing her from the security camera. So, like, you're, like you're seeing me, and then I'm flipping through a book. The book should be flipped over this way, like I'm reading it. But you see the book flip this way, and the text on it over here. So it's like you're seeing the book being opened in front of her with the video camera. It's such a weird decision. It looks stupid. I don't know what they were thinking with that. So Julia, main character. Sky, bitch, who wants her to see the tape. Now it's on, it's it's not even a videotape. It's it's just a data file, you know, an MPG file or whatever. Horsestick.mpeg. If someone gets that reference without Googling it, I love you forever. MPEG file or whatever on the computer. So she's trying to get her to watch it. She won't watch it because she's get she's spying on her uh, phone, on Sky's phone, and sees Holt messenger, messaging her, saying, like, Julia, are you there? Don't watch the tape. So she locks herself in the bathroom. And this bitch thinks she beat Samara for some reason. And then Samara comes out of the TV. After she breaks, she pulls all the wires out. TV's still on. We've seen this before. Then she goes to pull the power cord out of the TV. When is the last time you saw somebody? And tell me if you have one. The TV has the power cord. Instead of just being plugged into the wall, it's being, you know, like bracketed onto the wall around the room to get to an outlet. Like, I'm sure it, I know it's a thing. It used to be much more common. But when's the last time you saw that? Come on, you just take the TV, you plug it into the outlet. Like, <laughs> nobody's wrapping it around their room. Whatever. So she breaks the TV or whatever, throws it on the ground. Uh, then the water starts coming out, and Samara comes out, kills her. She gets the whole creepy face. Uh, then Samara, for some reason, sticks around and tries getting into the bathroom for like a minute or so. She's like jiggling the doorknob. You see Samara, like... Not fully, but, like, through, like, the translucent window, like, of the door of the bathroom. It's the best scene in the movie, and I don't have much to say about it, so that should say how bad this movie is. But, the, like, the CGI coming out of the TV with Samara leaks better than The Ring 2. Like, much better. The CGI is better in this movie than The Ring 2. Which would make sense. This is from 2017. This is from 12 years afterwards. I would expect it to be. When she comes out of the TV, though, that's on the ground, and, like, she's lifting the TV up because she's coming out of it, and, like, her one leg is unnaturally, like, posed as she's, like, coming out, that looks really good. So Holt shows up, and I don't, I'm guessing they go back to his place because it's so jumbled together that you can't even tell. It seems like they just left the dead girl in her room, in the living room, and just went and slept in her bed. But they didn't. They went back to his place or her place or something. And... She sees, like, the marks on his back after he tells the whole story of the professor and the proof of a spirit world and stuff after death and all that stuff. And then she starts getting to the whole morals and, like, can you pass on a death sentence? And who cares? She ends up, for some reason, going on the, the computer and watching the, the videotape or the video file, as we'll call it now. And now she has seven days and then she ends up becoming, like, the vessel that Samara is reborn through. Like I said, it does take a decent amount from one of those Ringoos. Spiral. A lot. But it's done so much better if I remember in that. And if I don't see a movie and have Japanese people yapping in Japanese next, I'm, I'm canceling JR. It's done. This also, this film goes back to the, the green filter that the original remake used, which I, I said I don't like about that. 
So that's another thing here against this film. There's a lot of that green filter all over this movie for no reason. Same with the original remake. That's like the only thing in the remake that takes it down for me. And they put it back in here because we were all clamoring for that green filter back. Then they find out, the professor, Holt, and Julia, that her copy of the tape that she watched is longer than the original video. And that she saw a bird in the, you know, like fly by their car earlier. And that bird, like an image, is now on the videotape. So there's like a whole bunch of new stuff now. Because she's the chosen one. She's the one that's going to give birth to Samara again. I guess, like, none of this makes sense in any way. None of this is good, but at least it's something different. So she sits down by herself. Because the professor says... I think this is just for her eyes. He's a dick anyway. You would say that in any situation. So they turn around, and she starts describing what she sees on her version, like which has all new footage in it. And there's like a church, and there's, it leads them to thinking that they have to burn her body, her remains, to set her spirit free. That's what they think. Just from watching these weird images, they go on that, solely on that, alone, for no reason... <laughs> Like I said, but whatever. They end up going to this town that there was like a cover up with, with Samara's body. Like it was buried, but then they, they moved it because a, a priest was having issues. It, it, it's not good. I keep saying, like, th this is going to be short, but it's just a lot of the same stupidity over and over again. All right, now this is strange. And I know I thought this when I was watching this last night. The professor gets a call, and he says the police are on their way for him. Like, they want to question him in Sky's death, the girl who got killed by Samara. And he starts saying, like, they don't deal in ambiguities, like, I didn't kill her, but I did kill her because I did get past the tape to her, whatever. But the next scene, he's getting in his car and driving to the police station. He just said the cops were on their way. So why isn't he waiting there for the police to come? He didn't say anything on the phone, like, I'll meet you down at the station. He ended the scene with the police are on their way. And the next scene, he's getting into his car, driving to the police station. So they fucked that up. Weird. So Evelyn, the main... The main... The biological mother from Sissy Spacek played her in The Ring 2 when she's in the hospital. She vanished, apparently, now, like, they say 30 years ago. I don't know how that lines up with the ring, too. Whatever. But she disappeared. Uh, then they find and meet in this town, Sacrament Valley, is where the church that she saw in the video and everything. They find fat Vincent D'Onofrio, blind. <laughs> he he was into Samara for a while. Then you find out that he was the, the father of Samara and that he had the relationship with Evelyn and that's what gave birth to Samara or something. Like, it's it's not... <laughs> Oh, this movie sucks. Now, Mo uh, Mark. I'm, that's somebody's name. Maybe it's the professor. I just heard it. The professor calls after he's in an accident. Like, he had an accident in the town of Sacramento Valley. He was on the, his way there. And they go, and they're just allowed to walk onto a crime scene. <laughs> Onto the scene of an accident, just like uh, Naomi Watts in The Ring 2 can just sneak into an ambulance, take a peek at a body. They're able to just go down to to the car, and, and he's still alive, but he, he's, like, trying to tell her something. Uh, then a pole, like an electrical pole, falls and electrocutes him, and she gets out of the way at the last time. It's dumb. Uh, then they meet Vincent D'Onofrio. Oh, but the professor calls and le left a message before his accident to Holt, saying that, the mark that Julia has on her hand, it's Braille. For suspense reasons, he doesn't just say right then and there what it says. He says, I'm coming to meet you guys. And then he had his accident. So he can't tell them. Uh, this is so bad, I can't even just, I can't skim through it again. So this is from memory what, <laughs> what happens. It's, it's near the end. But the professor is still dead. So they can't get the Braille information on her, the symbol on her hand. So Holt ends up typing it into a Braille reading website. The picture that 
was sent to him or was in the doctor's, the professor's notes. I don't know. But she, he starts entering it in while she goes to the bathroom. And while she's in the bathroom, she throws up the long hair with the thing at the end of it and the flies on it. Even the fly doesn't look good. I mean, come on, you can't get a real fly to burst through some fake round piece of rubber like come on you need a cgi fly for that but then she's looking in the mirror and you're seeing flashbacks of samar saying it won't stop and he's slowly typing in and you could tell it says rebirth from the r <laughs> but it goes r e b i until it's about to say rebirth and it says rebirth and then she turns into samara and that's the end of the movie it's terrible <laughs> It's not good at all. It's not memorable at all. That's probably the thing that it has worse than The Ring 2. At least I remember The Ring 2. This movie, I didn't remember it since the first time it came out when I saw it. I won't remember it a day or two from now. So, like I said, next movie, Japanese people speaking language I don't understand, and I gotta read the words, or it's over. Alright guys, next film, some American movie.